You got questions, we've got answers. Just ask Kenneth. Hey, what's going on everybody? Kenan here and it is time for another Ask Kenan or Ask Cam Kenan question. Uh, I like these because our Patreon supporters kind of get together and they get to get a question asked and those questions will benefit all of you watching the video. Maybe you have the same question. Uh, this week's question comes from Jay Tolentino. Thank you so much for your support, Jay. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being a Patreon supporter. So here's his question, everybody. I'm going to read it right off the email. Uh, and uh, good question, actually. You saw me start with the elongated tortoises. This is how quickly do elongated tortoises grow and when do they reach their full size? All right, so let's get into the question. Great question. Uh, the reality is this. Oh, and by the way, if you guys hear a little rock and roll, a little muse music, I apologize, but I've been into this really great mode of Muse, man. I went and saw them live, so it's kind of fun. Anyway, back to the question. Uh, let's have a look at some of our babies. Here are some baby, uh, these guys are a few months old, little baby uh, elongated tortoises. Here's one that wants to come out and hang with us. So there it is. Let's get a little better lighting for you folks. Let's see, there we are. All right, there's a little baby elongated tortoise. Now. In order to properly discuss this question, we're going to take a little walk. We're going to go to the adult elongated tortoise area. They live with um, the mountain tortoise, as you guys probably already know if you follow the channel. Now, to get to the question, the reality is different species of tortoise tend to grow quicker, in my opinion. There are some that grow pretty quick. There are some that take their time. Uh, Sulcatas are known for growing pretty quick. Uh, and elongateds can grow fairly quickly. The mountain tortoise, in my opinion, grow kind of slow. Now, here's the deal. It varies, okay? Um, it depends on how much you're feeding, the quality of food these animals are getting, and their habitat, and so on. But here is an adult. There's an adult elongated tortoise. Here's a little guy on top. Uh, these tortoises, I know for a fact, are about 35 years old. They came uh, from a friend of mine. Most of them were actually imported uh, years ago. Uh, and so basically, guys, these tortoises here uh, are really, really old. Uh, not really, really old, but they're, they're quite old. And to answer the question in more detail, to get a little guy like this to be the size of an adult elongated tortoise, generally will take about 10 years. And that's slow, steady growth uh, you want to make sure these guys, as I'm talking to you, look at this, I'm getting nibbled on by a mountain tortoise. These guys are slow, methodical killers. That's what they are. They'll nibble on leg hairs and legs. Get away from me, we I'm trying to do an Ask Camp Clinton question here. Sorry. Anyhow, uh, the little guy here, about 10 years, and that's a good rule of thumb for most tortoises. Um, you know, I'd say 10 years. Uh, because you want them to grow nice and slow and steady and get up to a healthy size uh, in, a, in a relatively short time. Ten years is not that long to wait. Now, if you're dealing with snakes and so on, in six months you could probably have a breeding ball python. That's probably, if you're an impatient person, that's probably what you might want to get interested in. But uh, I'm kind of patient. I like to do things slow and steady. So I get these little guys up and at them in about ten years. Now, that's not to say it can happen quicker. Uh, again, remember what you're feeding them, how often you're feeding them. Many people like to power feed their animals. I like slow and steady growth, so I know that these animals are in the best possible care. We don't get that pyramiding, uh, smooth shell growth, consistent shell growth, all that stuff's very important. So that would be um, my advice, and that also works with other tortoises. I'd say sulcata 10 years or 40 pounds before they're breedable. Um, you know, the other thing that's interesting is that these animals basically continue to grow and so many of the largest ones have been pulled out of the environment either for food or the pet trade that we really don't know. We just haven't kept them long enough in captivity to really know how long or how big these guys can get. So there he is. Here's some more little elongated tortoises. I got them kind of hanging out here with a couple of red foots. 
but uh, we have a lot of elongated tortoises, folks. So if you're interested in one of these fine little beauties here from Camp Kenna, they are for sale. Elongated tortoises are $150 plus shipping, which is $65 west of the Mississippi and $55 east of the Mississippi. Uh, great little tortoise, they do so well. Uh, they're cool tolerant and they love high humidity. So I'm gonna get in here and spray all this out, clean everything up, because that's what I was doing when I got the question. So I hope you guys appreciated the question. Thanks for being a Patreon supporter. Uh, and uh, I want to shout him out one more time. My uh, nice Italian friend, Mr. Tolentino. Thank you very much for uh, doing that, Jay. I appreciate it. And I hope that answers your question. People out as well. All right, back uh, to work here on my little farm. Talk to you soon.